Hey there, this time I just want to share with you guys additional things you can do with GIMP. So GIMP is a freeware program, very much like Photoshop. So I'm just going to share with you some common effects you can do with certain pictures using GIMP. So first up is how to create water droplets. So whatever your picture is, drag it to your program, then hit layer, like so. So I'm just going to quickly zoom in to show you. You go to layer, then you create a new layer. So I'm just going to name this as uh, drop droplet, then hit OK. But before doing that, be sure your, your layer fill type is transparency. OK, then hit OK. Then you go to your ellipse select tool. And basically, this is how your droplet would look like so it's really up to you so I'm just going to um, just put a small ellipse there so after doing that you go to your blend tool and you draw a line across your ellipse like so uh, but be sure that your foreground and your background colors are different so I'm just going to change this to black okay to quickly show the gradient so we're going to draw a line across our ellipse and it should look like this then you go to your layers box by hitting ctrl L like so and you can see that your mode is normal so you want to change that to overlay and your ellipse should look like this so to make this 3D all you have to do is go to filters go to light and shadow go to drop shadow and uh, on your box here you change your offset X and your offset Y to 3 like so and then change your opacity to 70 and then hit OK so it should look like this so we create another light and shadow effect by hitting filters go to light and shadow then go to drop shadow and then you change your offset X to negative 3 this time and also your offset Y then change your opacity to 30 like so hit OK so basically uh, this is how it should look like if you open your control L or your layers um, window you're going to see four layers your background your original picture your droplet your drop shadow and your drop shadow number one so you go to your drop shadow number one minimize this and go to your move tool like so and you move your shadow to place your shadow anywhere you want so I'm just going to place it there so after this you go to your layer and you create another layer this time because you have a shadow you should have a light so I just type in light and click OK then go to your brush tool make sure your brush is your circle fuzzy 15 mode and it's a normal mode actually but your brush type should be circle fuzzy 15 and um, make sure your foreground is colored white and then we are just going to place our white here like so so you can do better than this I'm just going to show you the basic and there you go and then you go to select hit none and there is your droplet so you can do um, other stuff like um, uh, 3d text or other things with this effect so it's all up to you it's all up to your creativity and it's all up to your preferences so these are just basics that I'm just showing so that is um, how to make a water effect next time I'm going to show you how to well not really next time but next I'm going to show you how to create a lightsaber so I have your picture of a Lego Star Wars character which is uh, Luke Skywalker so we're going to bring him to life by bringing his lightsaber to life so all you have to do is go to layers and you create a new layer but before you do that make sure that your foreground and your background colors are different so I'm just going to change this to black like so then go to layers new layer 
uh, name this as saber then hit foreground color and hit OK so it should look like this and then you go to your control L again and this time instead of overlay you hit screen like so so you can see your picture again and then you go to your paths tool and you're going to define the borders of your lightsaber so I'm just going to hit here and here then here well actually it should uh, I think that's wrong so I'm just going to hit here here and then here and then you go to uh, your window here and hit selection from path or create selection from path like so and then you go to your fill tool your foreground should be white and then just fill it up like so so with this you have basically uh, uh, edited uh, this area that we want to bring to life okay so you hit edit and then oh I mean you hit select and then you hit none so it should look like this so basically um, you have uh, two layers your saber and your background so with your saber you have to duplicate this uh, so you have a saber, a saber copy, and a saber copy number one. So you go to saber and pass this to a filter, which is a blur filter, the Gaussian blur. And um, this would be the lowest value. So I'm just going to hit five. It should look like this. Okay, hit OK. And then you go to the next um, saber copy, and then pass this also to a filter this time to a higher value 25 oops 25 hit OK next you pass the third one to a higher value um, higher than the second one so I'll hit 50 hit OK there we go so as you can see our this section is already glowing now you go to your layers um, dialog box by hitting control L then right click the uh, saber copy uh, saber copy number one then merge it down to your saber copy and then as you can see your mode has changed back to normal so you have to check this as screen like so and then uh, you do that as well with the other one so you merge all your three layers together and make sure your mode is into screen mode like so so with this uh, we're just going to change the color so go to colors then color balance so basically I'm going to make it green because we all know that uh, uh, looks uh, lightsaber screen so hit OK so with this all I have to do is merge it again with our picture and there you go lightsaber is now um, glowing and this time we had just changed the Lego to uh, well basically the Lego lightsaber to life so I think that's pretty cool so those are just two of the effects that I want to share more to come and thanks for watching this video also I advise you guys to check out my youtube partner Deli Fury 16 cool tutorials and also check out my channel other tutorials basically videos uh, about tech stuff that I want to share so thanks for watching this video and have fun